What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to some more Fetch Quest News. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the news. All right, let's get into the first things first. The August upgrade bonus, Void Dragon Guard. I keep wanting to call it Guardian. It's coming out. Looks kind of cool. I like the higher tier package a lot more. The red and black looks way better than the purple, bluish, black, whatever that color is. So, yeah. I Actually, hopefully the red tier is the lower tier. It's probably not going to be, though. So, if you're getting the higher tier one, it looks kind of cool. Lower tier, not so much. But that's just preference, I guess. I have a preference for red over that other color. And, of course, the other package is going away. So, if you haven't got that and you want it, Now's your time, it will be gone on Friday. Also, we have a calendar of events for August. Now, a lot of people got pretty sad seeing this, uh, including me, of course, because why? <laughs> why are you doing Drago Sloth Part 1 and Part 2 a week apart? I mean, are, I guess they're big events. Maybe if they're super big events, are the items going to be themed the same for both parts? I don't... Okay, and then Dragon of Lust Part 1 and 2. Now, I can see, okay, I don't get how you do two weeks worth of sloth items and story. Lust, I mean, that's the topic. You could probably get some heart-themed items and theme that around that theme more. Th sloth, though, I, I don't know what kind of sloth items you're going to have for two weeks in a row, but good good luck. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Reen's birthday was on August 1st. I think there's still a boost for that, so you can check that out if you want to. Elena asked players to log into the testing server to test out server load. So this hints at server rewrite may or not, may not be coming sooner rather than later. Hopefully, and, you know, I'm hopeful, but it's probably not. Next week, we're seeing a set from Kumon. A very, a very flashy as always. And his hairstyles very distinctive. I don't know why there's hair sticking up there kind of weird but that's how all his hairs are there's hair going everywhere and every single hairstyle that he does so it looks really nice and that will be in the game next week so i'm starting to get some ideas together for this year's chronomancer anything y'all would like to see in this design so Dej is asking for designs for chronomancer for 2018 because they, they always release them before the year actually starts like uh November, September, like, yeah, it's, I think the last one released in November, so probably around there, September, November, that time, will be the new calendar class, of course, and they'll probably sell that in-game again, because I'm sure that selling it in-game uh, last time did really well for them as far as people buying ACs for that, so we'll see that later this year, and he's starting to work on designs for it, very nice, and it's for AQW and Avenger Quest 3D, uh, that's what he says right here. I don't know if there's going to be a Chronomancer class for AQ3D. If there is, Pog Champ. That's going to be awesome. Ghost, who does animations for cutscenes and stuff like that. So, this saga has introduced a couple of epic. No, not really. Oh my god, no, wait. No moments. Brace yourselves for tomorrow. Tomorrow's event is the Sloth Dragon, the part of the Seven Deadly Dragons event series, part one of the Sloth Dragon. Let me correct myself there. Uh, comes with the plague set, very nice set. People have been waiting for that for a while. It looks really nice. And uh, a bunch of helmets and stuff to go with that. More on that right now. There you go. So Antism made the set and it's one of his first sets going to be ever into the video game, ever. So it looks really nice and you can check out his Twitter Search Antism underscore arts on Twitter. So you can find there, follow him there for maybe future art. We'll see. J6 did the background art for tomorrow's event. Looks really, really gooey, really nice. And we have some bonus, bonus news here. Uh, so there's what the set looks like in game. What the set looks like. It looks like a little cape there, helmet with hair, and it's smiling. I don't know if that's the armor it's making the smile. It looks like it's probably the armor based on the skin color. I don't know. Actually, it might not be. Who knows? Hopefully, that's a face, smiling face, part of the armor, and a weapon, of course. So we can see if we go this way. There we go. The weapon on there. So 
there is that and on Reed's character page this armor which is sparkling this might be an armor that's already in the game uh it never says what kind of armor Reed's is wearing so i never know but it looks cool and that could be a new armor in a future event or she could just be wearing an old armor i might be wrong about that i didn't really look into it i don't really know what armor that is i've never seen it before so that's that that's all the news for Vision quest worlds we have if you haven't seen it yet the bank came out for vision quest 3d uh if you play through it and get to rank 10 you get a free bank slot which is worth like five dollars around that price is what it costs or actually 900 yeah about five bucks uh is what the bank is worth if you were to buy it for dragon crystals so if you want to go do that i played through it a little bit and it's pretty good it's gonna be grindy like the rest of aq 3d but it's got really good writing and some really good references in it, so I'd highly recommend checking out the bank update for Adventure Quest 3D. Of course, you can find that in the bank in Battleon, uh, which added an interior for for the event. So thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you liked it. I'll be back here next Thursday, and of course, there's a live stream tomorrow. As always, on Friday, we'll check out the new event, the Sloth Dragon. We'll farm for the Plague Set. All that stuff will be tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we might even check out the new gear for the new upgrade package whatever so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace oh rat i'm going to talk for about 20 seconds because that's how long the cards play at the end of the video i've been streaming a lot on twitch player knows battlegrounds there's a new update i'm probably streaming it right now as you're watching this video so click down below to the description there's a link there for my twitch channel where i play video games all there all the time i'll see you guys there